and I am back again and guess what time to look for some internet now if you like me you're looking for some internet access and you don't want to just hop on people's Wi-Fi for free all the time which are plenty of options in Thailand or you move into a place where they don't have internet as part of the whole package of staying at that place you're at well you're gonna to have to do what I have to do find your own internet so what's the best way to do that when in Hua Hin I don't know I really haven't done any research on this I just know there are companies that do this and most of the tech companies in terms of phones and stuff are on the top floor of the market village so that's where I am now and I'm literally it's, it's quite late it's nearly 7 p.m. so probably they're all closed but who knows oh no 3BB broadband is right in front of me so let's go and check out their prices today right so that was interesting very quick I was gonna impulse buy then so it basically was one gigabyte download and 500 mbps upload and that was going to cost me 700 baht plus seven percent tax which comes to about 749 thai baht which i think roughly equates to around 20 dollars which is pretty cheap pretty damn cheap you know i lived in the uae and the internet standard internet was about 70 dollars or more so thailand or asia in general is very cheap or well, southeast asia anyway so I was I thought it was so cheap I was gonna buy it on the spot but I want to go and shop around and I'm sure there's other places around here so I'm just gonna look around the place closes at 8 so I've got about one hour to make my decision installation time she said it's three days but she said if I bought it now they could install it on Friday or no on Saturday they can install it on Saturday so if I didn't purchase it now and went tomorrow it would be on Monday so I'm just going to walk around the top of the mall and see what other deals they have. I have no clue actually what other internet service providers they have. So I'm going to do a quick Google search and if I see that shop here, I'm going to pop in and have a look and get the price. But to be honest, $20 is very cheap and I may just buy. What do I need to bring? You just need your um, passport. That's it. Passport and some cash or money credit cards or bank details or whatever I'll find out you just need to pay that's the main thing uh, and they come and install it for me so fantastic couldn't hear what bloody word she was talking about because of these masks they love masks here I mean they loved it before the pandemic but after the pandemic most people are still wearing masks I know there's a pollution problem but inside like, come on guys we know it doesn't work you can still catch a cold anyway I'm walking around the mall and let's see what we find and we'll be right back Right, so I did a quick internet search while I was here and to be honest there's not a lot of options some people were saying true which I'm standing next to which is true 5g a lot of the stuff I saw on the internet was 10 years old and they were actually talking about market village and 3bb being the best at that time I think it's still the best we a friend of ours did use them but I was a bit skeptical because I thought well that was the first place they went as well um, but it looks like I'm probably gonna go with them it's cheap the speed's very good she said I could upgrade from the basic to the higher one if I wanted the higher one was one GB one gigabyte download and one gigabyte upload I'll put the um, the screenshot here just to show you the actual price she quoted they have 12 month and 24 month contracts I'm going to take out the 12 month contract 
right now um, there's nothing worse than moving into a place with no internet or Wi-Fi yes we do have our have our phones and we could hotspot but I have a computer several devices and I just want to get this done as soon as possible because there's nothing worse than being in a home with no good internet we might actually have to talk to each other and have a conversation only jokes aside I'm gonna go there now and uh, pay for the internet I'm standing next to true 5g queue is massive because people are obviously looking to do stuff with their phones and not just internet I really I mean for the sake of maybe who knows how much money it can't be that much difference the speed and quality can't be that much different and also I did read that it all depends on your location but most people were saying that online at least that this place is the best so come with me let's go and fill this in and I'll take you through afterwards exactly what you need to get internet in your house in Hua Hin. See you in a second. Right guys, so I am done. I signed up. It was quite simple, but it's very tight. And what do I mean by very tight? It means lots of pieces of paper that have been photocopied God knows how many times because they're all faded. But I, I counted for you and I signed 10 pieces of paper with my signature, including one page with my passport. What did those pieces of paper say? I have no clue. I did translate one of them on Google Translate, but it was just the general terms and conditions. You'll have to get used to that if you live here in terms of signing loads of paper in Thai. Honestly, there's not much you can do. If you really want to go home and Google Translate it and all those things you can do. Generally, if it's something like internet, if it's nothing serious like a, a housing contract or something, which is a little bit more serious, which I would consider translating and actually finding out what you're signing these things are fine so i paid by credit card actually an international credit cards just to be safe when i say just to be safe if anything went wrong i can just call my credit card company visa and they can sort it out um, i could have paid by cash or i could have paid by scan and i've explained the scan in another i explained the scan in my previous video about they have a qr code scan system which is really cool but i paid by credit cards now two things she gave me two offers first offer was if i paid for the full contract for 12 months she'd give me an eight percent discount but it only equated to something like 500 bar or something like that i can write it down in, in the below what it actually was it wasn't really worth it you never know what can happen in a year she said or uh, you can take a five percent discount if you choose to sign up uh, choose to pay six months in advance so i did that I think it only worked out at like six dollars it was nothing but to be honest i'm gonna be here for uh for six months at least anyway so i just paid six months in advance it saves me paying every month as well and it saves me a few dollars no big deal to be honest you could pay month to month it doesn't really matter anyway the next process was downloading the app so i knew you can know exactly how much data you're using and how you can pay so I did that, I downloaded the app on the spot and then she walked me through the app. Most of the apps start in Thai, so she led me through the app in Thai until in the profile you can change it to English. Uh, that profile basically just told me how to pay next time. You can pay by card through the app and that's all pretty much I'm using the app for to be honest guys. So that was it, I'm all done, I'm all set, six months paid. When those six months come, uh, come I will pay monthly. The guy is coming in two days time and he'll give me a call she tested my number I do have a local Thai number so again if you do want a contract you probably would already have a Thai number by then anyway if you didn't you're doing things in the wrong order get your phone first because the phone is usually linked to things like your bank and all types of account so get your phone number first come here bring your passport bring some money or bring a card and you're done in five to ten minutes and it was that easy so interested to see how fast the speed is i do have the chance to upgrade afterwards after a month and i'm sure you can just do it through the app if you can't i'll come back and see her and that was it guys very very simple internet in southeast asia is very fast very efficient very affordable and it was very simple so that's that so i've walked you through how to find an internet not the best way usually you look around but to be honest as i said it was a good internet provider let's see so i'll leave you there guys thank you for tuning in please comment and subscribe we're going to do more of these kind of beginner style videos for anyone looking to come here you don't have to just come here and retire to Hua Hin. you can come here 
and be young and be free and have a good time as well. It's just a different experience than Phuket or Pattaya or Bangkok. Whatever is your flavor and our flavor is Hua Hin for now.